It's been a few weeks since I've done an elite training session and I've been sitting on this one from the 2019 World Championships for a while and so I figured I'd get it edited out to you all. As you can see already, this is a training session between two friends. One, the once two-time Olympic champion Ilya Ilyin, who still holds an official 191-246 performance that sits as the 29th highest Sinclair of all time. And the younger Meza Hasona, the two-time world medalist and two-time junior world champion. Despite their age difference, I mean Ilya's 32 and Mezzo literally just turned 22 the other day, they both get on incredibly well, sharing a strong level of understanding that I guess few middle heavyweight lifters can really ever understand, having both been through the sort of training that gets you to the levels that they both reached. Going into this day, we knew that Mezzo was going heavy in the clean and jerk, having maxed out and set a new PR in the front squat earlier that morning. And in fact, that full front squat training session with Mezzo and Forrester is up exclusively on the Weightlifting House Patreon page, complete with commentary. I'll put a link to that down below. So we knew that Mezzo was going to go heavy today, as he told me that that was the plan. But we didn't know that Ilya was going to show up, as he hadn't yet arrived at the World Championships, and so this was his first session. And, and by the way, if you're interested, I have multiple interviews with each of these guys, as well as videos all available on the Weightlifting House YouTube and the Weightlifting House podcast. And as Mezzo had just turned up to train, Ilya suddenly turned up too. He hugged everyone in sight, as he always does, and then he set to hitting some front squats and some snatches, whilst Mezzo worked up heavy in the cleaning jerk. So just a quick bit about the setup of these teams, the athletes and their supporting people around them. So this is Ilya's team. We have Max, Ilya's best friend, Vadim, his physio, Ardak, his team manager, and then of course his head coach, who helps coach other Kazakh athletes now that Ilya's retired. And then on Mezzo's side, we have his team, consisting almost entirely of family. His dad, who is his coach, his brother, Hasona, who's his secondary coach, and then Hussein, his physical therapist and pretty much best friend. One of the things that I really love about Mezzo's lifting is how he makes every single repetition from 70 kilos upwards identical, from how he approaches the barbell to the foot tapping that he does just prior to touching the bar, to even the length of time he takes before pulling the bar off the ground, to the turn of his head that he does as he holds the barbell overhead. It's a level of visualization that he achieves on every repetition that gives him the unfair advantage of having experienced it all in his head multiple times.
After Elliot had hit his 230 kilo front squat, he started snatching, working up to just 140 kilos. Mezzo wanted to work up to 220 kilos, a weight that he had only hit in competition twice before this. Once as a 94 kilo lifter back at the 2017 World Championships, and once at the 2018 Qatar Cup, where he set the junior world record in the 96 kilo category with 225 kilos the first time he got four reds on each side. But this training session, to me, almost felt like the watershed line between Mezzo looking like the kind of guy who can sometimes hit 220 on a good day to snag a medal, to 220 looking like an opener and the kind of guy who can not only win, but also attempt a new world record. Four days after this, Mezzo hit 224 in competition and he cleaned 230. A few months later, he then clean and jerked 223 and 228 in competition. And then his training over the last few months has been outstanding. And also, excitingly, it won't be long before all of his training lifts are on a weightlifting house bar and set of plates too, which I'm obviously pumped about. Mezzo then did some pulls at 235 kilos, a weight which he will hopefully clean and jerk soon. And as he says, he wants 190 kilos in the snatch and 240 kilos in the clean and jerk at the Olympics. And if that happens, it doesn't seem possible that he can lose. guys don't forget the full front squat training session from Mezzo Hasona and Forrester Ose is up on the weightlifting house patreon page so you can catch up on Mezzo's PR front squat and of course thank you all for tuning in and I'll catch you all next time <laughs>